Welcome back, my nerd fam. It's your Clear Resky back again with some more smoke revives. This time, I believe this is round four or three. Uh, I got paired up with another black deck, Zephyr. Now, the Zephyr matchup is pretty much based on whether or not Zephyr breaks, because if Zephyr does not break, everything that is not Smoker or Kizaru is dead on your side of the board. So that feels really bad, and then it's just a bunch of 7k, 10k, big big body swings coming at you. So early aggro, early pressure, and establishing things that can't be KO'd is super key to this matchup. Also, just like any black mirror, I guess you could say, being the first to establish Kuzan 10 and be able to keep it alive is 10,000% the play. Um, your opponent just can't do anything if Kuzan 10 is out first and they can't, you know, double Suru, Kuzan swing into you kind of thing. So I'm going second because I think I won the dice roll here. Um, and the turn two play is maybe a Rosanante blocker, but it was nothing for me. Pass to him, he gets his Sasuki, Sazuki, and I take the life on the 5k swing going down to four. Now on the four down play, I think I'm establishing a four drop Kuzan. Fantastic. That's always a great play. We draw a card, we go five deleter. You burn a card or you take a life, it's really up to you. Um, the biggest thing is having the four drop Kuzan out this early allows my Kobe's to be extremely lethal to most things. Um, now that I feel like I have great board pressure or presence, and he's really focusing on getting his ramp through, um, I just think I'm ahead. So he's going to go ahead and throw 5k at me. I'm like, nah, you can take this smoker. That's the 1k. And another 1k, I believe, or I want cards. So we're going to go ahead and take that, go down to three. We have the Kuzan on board. He established his, his Kuzan which he probably knows is going to die when I swing at leader right now. Or I believe I'm going to swing Sa Sazuki. There we go. Swing Sazuki minus the Kuzan. Swing at leader for five. He takes. Impact waves my Kuzan. Cool. Let's drop this Kobe here if I have it. And I don't. I have a Sakazuki, which is actually a bigger, better threat. So <laughs> popping the Kuzan, pitching an extra Sakazuki, passing back to him so he can go to his seven dawn turn. I have a big beat, beat stick on the board, and that's a lot for him to deal with. At seven, um, he would play a queen if he saw it, right? To get that cycle going and get those big blockers in. So he's going to be for six, plays the Suru, and I think he's going to go in for his own Sakazuki to kill mine. Now, it's going to pass back to me. I'm on eight dawn. I'm almost going to drop that ten drop Kuzan, which is going to feel fantastic if I do so. But I think we're going to Sakazuki him right back. Um, there we go. Activating mate on the leader first and then dropping the Sakazuki, pitching a garb and popping the Sakazuki. The Sakazuki trades are a real thing. We can go seven to leader. Make sure he takes that life. He's at two. We're at three to two. He's on an awkward curve here at nine. No real threat of a Kuzan 10. So, Queen Rusty's big chilling. Wait a minute. I forgot. He ramped. So, there goes the Kuzan 10. Uh, popping me on swing. So, ideally, this is like the scary matchup now, right? But he did nag to go down to six. His Kuzan's already on the board. Now, <clears throat> depending on how I played here, I think I'm just going to go ahead and start swinging big here. So, we're going to swing at leader for nine. He takes it down, down to one. Play a Kuzan, draw a card, and then play a un unkillable smoker. So, here comes the pressure. We're going to leave that Suru on the board. He's back at eight dawn here. And I'm probably taking a 10k to the face. And he's probably deciding to kill my Kuzan here if he can't get value off of a play. So here comes the 10k. We take that. We don't waste cards. Um, free draw for us. And he's going to play a Hina blocker, which is, uh, in my opinion, pretty spice. <laughs> That's pretty spice. And here goes my dude. And I got to get out of 7k. And I think... Oh! I'm ballsy. Here we go. Two cards out of hand. Tashigi and a Rosanante blocker. And he plays the Korozumi and it'll pass back to me. So now that I am on 10, do I drop the Kuzan here? Because that is a, a big scary boy. I believe I do drop the Kuzan here. And we're going to pop the Hina blocker. All right. And we're going to swing at him for five and sixes because there's a zero cost on the board. So let's start ripping that hand apart. And uh, just explain to my opponent that the smoker is a 4k, unkillable by effects, but on the swing, since there's zero cost on the board, he's a 6. So, 
I believe he's either gonna take it or combo out right here. I mean, or block out. Uh, having the the blocker is, is really nice for him. Um, and there's a lot of thinking going on there, man. There we go. So I got the blocker off of him. He's gonna go ahead. Pretty sure he's going 10k to my face, and then five into that little helpless smoker there. I was actually gonna put in work if it lives. So he's at one life. I'm at two. We're at end game here for the most part. All right, he, he's going to kill my Kuzan here. Really working hard to get rid of the boy. <laughs> um, swings at me. He's going to activate effect. And... Oh, we're not activating effect here? Yeah, he is. That is in the four dawn. My Kuzan's dead. So, that's expected. It, it's what the best play is. And... Now we can expect my... My four cost or three cost smoker to die to the Kuzan swing. Oh. Yep, here it is. Combat out so I didn't take the damage. And or didn't let the smoker die. Um, I don't know why I did that. It's kinda weird, but I think I have a plan here. So we're gonna minus the Kuzan by two, draw a card. And the Kuzan's now an eight. We're gonna go ahead, activate main. Have a zero cost on the board. And swing big. I think we're just swinging for the fences now. There we go. Nope. Swing for nine. And we play the cheeky Kizaru blocker. So we can't die here. There's no way he's getting through or getting rid of that blocker. So with that 10k coming through, we're just going to block. And he's going to commit just a five. Use it to Shiki. Go to seven. And tell him, hey man, um, I'm going to push in for 15. So you take this life <laughs> and do your thing. So he plays his own Kizaru blocker. He has three cards in hand, and that was just a matter of mathing the math. Um, I think best play is we put four under leader, uh, activate main, go to 10, and then swing t uh, 11 with the Kizaru to force the block. And it's just, it's not, the, the math isn't there for him. So if he combos out of this one, then the, the game is just in his favor, to be honest. Um, and that, that's a big old feels bad, but I don't think he has it because Zephyr is prone to breaking and there you go He shows the hand and that is the game and smoker takes the black mirror I hope you guys enjoyed the video pretty quick matchup here If you're enjoying the videos and the content, please leave a like comment and subscribe or share it with a friend it goes a long way uh, With that being said peace love and positivity. I'll see you on the next one. Bye